hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i am basically going to answer two questions that one of my subscribers asked now i decided to do a video because i saw it fit to share this information right uh, a lot of times we might have questions being asked in the comments area and only a few uh, you know only a few might 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 see the answers so i have decided to to do a video answering these two questions because i think the information is very important right and i must thank the subscriber for asking these two questions brilliant questions thank you now the two questions are number one at what point does one start fertilizing a plant that was grown from seeds and also ones that are grown from cuttings second question is does the type of fertilizer inorganic or organic affect the time and application now let us tackle, tackle the first question and um, as it relates to seeds obviously you sow a seed you expect it to germinate and grow into a seedling and grow into a big productive plant now as it relates to seed there are some basic things that we need to understand with a seed it can be die cut or it can be monocut so a die cut means it has two cotyledons monocut means it has one cotyledon now what is the purpose of the cotyledon now the cotyledons are basically there uh, to store they store sugars so they store sugars to basically aid in, in growth and development of the seed when it is germinated so when you when you sow your seed it germinates and the first two leaves you are if you want to call it that the first two leaves that you see emerging those are what we call cotyledon leaves right and those leaves basically store sugars to basically help the seedling to grow and help the, the seed to to basically develop uh true leaves right because after those cotyledon leaves true leaves are coming right um, because those cotyledon leaves are basically just there with 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 with, with good amount of storage sugars to help support uh, growth and development of that um, newly germinated seed so that it can it can uh, produce its true leaves uh, and then start basically start the process of photosynthesis to start producing so those two uh, cotyledon leaves that you see they will basically uh, when those true leaves emerge those cotyledon leaves will also supply sugars to those leaves to, to aid in further development right so that is what the, the, the cotyledon leaves are there for. Now, when do you start fertilizing? The moment you see the true leaves, and as I said, the true leaves are leaves that comes up after the cotyledon leaves, right? After the cotyledon leaves, and I'll show you a picture of that. After the cotyledon leaves, then you will see uh, other leaves coming up, which we call the true leaves, right? As soon as you see true leaves coming up, then you can start fertilizing but what you need to bear in mind is that the plant is very delicate at this stage these leaves are very soft and succulent at this stage and you cannot use a full strength uh, consent or a full strength for a foliar fertilizer you want to ensure that whatever foliar fertilizer you are going to put on your seedlings you want to ensure that it, it, the concentration is very um, weak in terms of you know uh, ensuring that it does burn the newly developed true leaves so for example if you usually use two teaspoons per gallon for example of 20 20 20 on your large plants right then on on your, your your seedlings especially the ones that are just putting out true leaves you want to to make this make maybe do quarter teaspoon or a little bit less than quarter teaspoon of whatever or i we are talking about 20 20 20 then uh use less than quarter teaspoon of 2020 you know to ensure that it is not um too strong right to ensure that you prevent any burning of the leaves because these true leaves are coming into a new environment and you don't want to shock them uh, you want to just gradually phase in the the, 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 the the fertilizer so while they grow and get bigger you can basically um increase the the, the concentration and even on some labels they will tell you that whatever strength strength or concentration you give to your larger plants they'll tell you that you should have that strength for your seedlings but i am telling you today that um half the strength when your seedlings are kind of 
at a good stage like if the seedling takes six weeks to reach um transplanting phase um like within the first within the first uh two weeks of of germination and w w when and the, by that time the true leaves would have been out use less than half of the concentration right as i said use about quarter or a little bit less than quarter but however when they, when when you are seeing more true leaves more leaves are developing and the, and the seedling is developing bigger then you can basically you know start using maybe a one teaspoon and so on right so that 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 is the time when you start to fertilize your seeds when as i said when they have germinated they will put out two cotyledon leaves in this in in the sense if they are die cuts as i said i'm using sweet pepper and tomato as example those are die cuts you will see two leaves coming out first those are cotyledon leaves that serves to, to, to that they store sugars that helps to help the, the seedling to, to go into to, to, to develop its, its its true leaves and and also help the, 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 the plant itself to, to, to continue growth and development seeing that it is not is not in us in a phase where it is photosynthesizing so the the, the, the the sugars that are being stored in the true leaves are basically compensating for any lack of photosynthesis right so soon as the true leaves develop you start fertilizing because the plant will be actively uh, more for, um, photosynthesizing more and um, they will basically pulling on a lot of nutrients so you want as soon as you see the true leaves you start um, feeding but as I said feed with a light concentration uh, now as it relates to cuttings so what you want to do is that when you are initially preparing your cutting you want to know what it is what it looks like so when you plant it you know what, how, you, how you plant it so once you scout every day and you see see you you know start to see buds coming oh you didn't see this before and it starts sprouting and you see you see buds and it starts sprouting then you know that okay some rooting is going on and the plant is actively taking up nutrients so at that time you want to ensure that you start fertilizing right so as soon as you see sprouts sprouting you want to start spro um, providing fertilizer right but initially in you know, whatever you are going to plant your your cutting you want to kind of have some amount of nutrients there before so you can mix it with some animal manure and that will provide initial nutrients or you can use granular synthetic fertilizer mix it in, in the growing mix and that now will provide initial nutrients for your cuttings right so 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 when your cutting start to produce um buds or sprouting then it already have some amount of nutrients pulling on right but as you know as you go along as the, as the cutting start to develop you might have to um you know had more fertilizer whether organic or inorganic right so um i hope that that that, that answers question one now the second question is does the type of fertilizer organic or inorganic affect the time and application now obviously in this world of farming you have one side that uses inorganic um, fertilizer I have one side that uses um, organic right um, and then in the sense that if we have our guard room I say okay then we are going to use some animal manure we are going to use uh, compost that we make and so on and then now you you, you know you have the synthetic um, inorganic fertilizers right that we buy at the store and so on so and then you have a set of gardeners or farmers who might just integrate both but in terms of time and application you know with plants they normally take up their nutrients and water via their roots or you know through their stomatas and and then now bear in mind that the root root uptake is basically their primary means of of taking up whatever soil resource the, with foliar application it works a bit more quicker the plant can take in the nutrients a bit more quicker than than the roots right uh but whichever whichever way you do it i i mean it's up to you what you want to do but um i will try to focus on putting the nutrients in the growing mix for the plant to uptake um through 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 its roots but then now you know you can also apply foliar fertilizer in between 
as well. In terms of the time, if we are relating this to the seeds and the cuttings, as I said before, with the seeds you want to wait until you are seeing the you are seeing a set of true leaves, the first true leaves that you see coming out, then you can start fertilizing. And with the cuttings, you want to look to see buds farming, uh, you know, sproutings and so on before you start fertilizing. But as I was explaining before, you want to, you can also incorporate, you know, synthetic fertilizer, organic fertilizer, right, manure and so on within the growing mix, even before you you set a seed. So for example, you know you're a backyard gardener. You know you, you have a you know maybe a bucket that you set some seeds in or you are on the ground that you make a little seed bed. You can incorporate some animal manure or incorporate some granular synthetic fertilizer, right? And and um, that will provide some initial nutrients for the seed when it germinates. Right? And it's the same with the cutting. Um, and as I said with the application, you can, you can definitely go foliar and you can definitely put it in the growing mix and you can do both. So I hope I've answered these two questions and um, I hope this subscriber you know, has better understanding of, of what needs to be done as it relates to when to fertilize um, a seed. Right, I went to start fertilizing a plant that was grown from seed. Right, because of course these are things that we face every day. You know, we have a seed, we set the seed, it germinates, but we don't know when to start fertilizing it. Right, so you know, I hope this sheds some light on that. And if you have any more questions, especially the subscriber, if you have any more questions, please put them in the comments area. And you know everybody else, you know my other subscribers, you know you are equally important. All my other viewers, you are also equally important. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments area, right? And you know we can talk there. But I just saw it fit to make these two questions like more public, so you can so you can hear the answers and what I have to say about them, right? So again, please like this video, please share it. Please subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you again in another video.